I live how I want to live. I party how I want to party. 17-year-old Nikki Steigl is out of control. Nicola is a absolute nightmare child. For 18-year-old Essex girl Jerry McFay, the only thing that matters is looking good. She won't listen to any advice if she's getting it wrong. <laughs> In a last-ditch attempt to turn their lives around, both families are sending their disobedient daughters to live with new parents on the far side of the world. <laughs> they will be staying with the De Zilvers, a Buddhist family who've raised their children to be selfless and community-minded. The family live a modest life according to simple Buddhist principles. Their children are not allowed mobile phones, computer games or pocket money. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Shall I show you around the house? Our kids don't have TV. We are a Buddhist family and we believe we all have a responsibility to make the world a better place. We insist on politeness and respect at all times to everyone. We will not tolerate smoking in our home. And no makeup is permitted. No, I'm not happy with that. First, you have to give your cigarettes to us. No. But actually, no way. If I pay for them, please then mind your language, me. Nikki. Even if we smoke two cigarettes a day. Nick, I think we should go and talk to him. You hand over your cigarettes to us, and we'll give you the two cigarettes for the day. Okay, Jerry? Nikki? Okay. I'm happy. Thank you. Mandy wants the girls to help her prepare food parcels for the city's home. Nikki? 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 Would you like to come and cook something? Jerry has already cooked the vegetables. But when we give, we have to give unconditional. So why don't they go and get jobs? Because there may be no jobs for them. That's why there's unemployment. But the Zilva family believe in rising early. But Nikki's not a morning person. No, just take it away. Nikki. Will you learn? No, sorry. Nikki. Mandy wants the girls to see what life's like for working Sri Lankans. She's arranged for them to do a day's work at a rural cinnamon plantation. Easy. Looks easy, but it's not. It takes a little bit. I feel sorry for the old woman. She looks knackered, like. She eats o'clock in the morning until like 11, 12 at night. It's ridiculous. And now I wanted to cry. She got like, proper bite my car on that. The British teens are halfway through their week with the De Zilda family. Mandy thinks Jerry's attitude to helping others still needs to change. She's found us some voluntary work at a local care home. No, I can't. Seriously, I've never ever had an experience like this, and to be honest, it's making me frightened. Brindley is so concerned by Nikki's anger problems, he's taking her to visit the family's Buddhist priest, the Reverend Olande Ananda. Meditation is at the core of the Buddhist way of life, and after helping to serve lunch to the monks, Nikki's agreed to see if it might help control her anger. Bhavatu Sambhamangalam Sarasati Bhavam Tuti I'm actually quite jolly today. He's smiling. It's not like me. The British teens are nearing the end of their stay in Sri Lanka. Mandy wants to know why Jerry ran out of the care home. I would like you to think 
that you're fortunate, that you should have realized there are people who are far less fortunate, who have nothing, who have nobody. They're just there waiting for somebody's charity. Yes, I think that's what I'd like you to take home with you. I think what I've learned is everyone's the same, no matter how they look. We all have feelings and we're all human, so I suppose I was a bit nasty to treat it like, to just walk out the way I did. But I think they've forgiven me. Back home, the girls are enjoying their last night with the family. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Mm. And it You're also can remind you of us. Yeah. Like yes. say we had two troubled teenagers and tried to put them straight. <laughs> Very sweet of you. I hope you take some good, good memories. Day. And always know there's someone who's far worse off than you. When I was out in Sri Lanka, I just thought, I just want my mum. But I think I value my family so much now. Well, I'm glad you've realised that anyway. Because I am here. <laughs> Come on, you know you will. <laughs> if she's not going to be selfish anymore, that would be fantastic. When she walked through the door, you would just see the relaxed Nikki. The Nikki that I used to know. And you, sort of, you could see that in her face, which was lovely.